All right, well, I'm calling this my pure simplicity hall sensor motor. And uh, I've built hall sensor motors before, and it's a very, very common way to switch a coil on and off using a hall sensor. But I stumbled on something I thought I'd share. Take a look at this real close. There's your hall sensor. That's a switching hall sensor, a rotating magnet. There's the load, coil of wire. But there's no transistor. There's just an LED and a power source. And I didn't know that you could get away with using just the hall sensor without a transistor. That's usually just a sensor that tells the transistor to switch on and off. But on the latching hall sensors, evidently there's enough guts inside that thing that you can get away with low power switching on a motor. And I didn't know that. So anyway, I put this together and uh, I've tried this thing out on all different kinds of pulse motors, including a monopole. And I got it to work on the uh, Easy Spin monopole, that circuit right there. Um, it needs two and a half volts. That's the downside. Below two and a half volts, it won't work. And then I'm sure if you go exceed the uh, amp draw, you're going to burn it out because it's not rated for very high amperage but somehow that is switching the entire circuit here it is here's the circuit and like I say I'm calling it the pure simplicity Hall sensor motor because it doesn't get much simpler folks there's just one electrical component that right there it's a latching Hall effect sensor there's a coil of wire, and like I say, I tried this on the easy spins with multiple coils, and it worked fine. Power source. The LED is across the coil to absorb the back spike so you don't blow that out. If you didn't have something there, I think the flyback, when that coil field collapses, would zap that thing right there. I don't know, but I think you're going to need some kind of a protection diode. I'm using an LED. And today's the uh, 28th of uh, September, 2015. Anyway, I've, I tried this uh, circuit on a number of pulse motors, and it worked uh, on a number of things, but this was the easiest one to show what's going on. You've got a Hall effect sensor. I'll stop it here. It's a little propeller for a load. That picks up the south face and the north face as that goes on and it flips back and forth depending on which face is facing that Hall effect sensor and then it allows the circuit to run and usually you use that with a PNP transistor and you switch the PNP transistor or there's a whole lot of other ways that's being used but I've never ever seen it used directly as the entire switching device and like I say it's just a uh, worked. I mean, I was extremely surprised that that worked. This is what the thing sounds like with a little radio. Now, I can also time this by moving this little hall sensor around. I can adjust the timing. Slow it down. Sounds like a old, old Model A or Model T. And that's speeding it up to where the sweet spot is right there. Anyway, this is a brushless DC uh, motor, and it's using the same uh, principle that um, computer fans or, or um, any of these other brushless motors use. It's a Hall effect sensor, but I've never ever seen it with that simple of a circuit. I'll give a link in the description where I got these Hall effect sensors. I got them through Electronic Gold Mine, but I've sent away for a bunch of other types. Uh, there's the ones that are strictly switches, and then of course there's the ones that are, are um, variable, depending on how close the magnet is. The uh, switch varies the amount that goes through it, but uh, Anyway, I thought I'd share that with people that uh, came up with a very, very uh, simple uh, way to switch a coil on and off that I had not seen before. 
Thanks for watching.